All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to use background maps for Trimble Access. Really handy, really great feature. <clears throat> it's better than keep carrying around a paper copy printed off the printer that can either break down, rip, tear, um, run ink all over the place. So what we're going to do, um, first things first, uh, you're going to need TBC Advanced, or TBC Intermediate, I'm sorry, and Google Earth Pro. So I'm going to open up Google Earth. I'm just going to type my zip code in where I'm working. <clears throat> and zoom in a little closer to where the area. And I'm going to use a little push pin place marker. And I just want to drag roughly a spot that I can easily see. Again, it doesn't have to be super accurate. You just want to be able to get this flat and long close enough. <clears throat> so while I'm here, I'm going to copy out this <clears throat> this lap. And I'm going to come over here to TBC. I'm going to just do a new project, and I'm going to set my zone up correctly. So for here, I'm just going to pick a uh, US or a foot. And let's start. And I'm going to set my I'm going to set my zone. We're going to go. I'm in Illinois West, so I'm going to use Illinois West. Select OK. Then I'm going to go to this CAD tab. I'm going to create a point. And over here, point ID number one, layer points. All that doesn't matter right now. And then I'm going to change this to local. And I'm going to put in my latitude. I'm going to jump back to Google Earth. I'm going to copy out my longitude. I don't think you have to put an elevation in. That's just force I have it for me. And if you double click your scroll wheel, it'll zoom extents. So now we can go back to Google Earth. Now let's pick a different, another another reference point here. So a good one would be uh, let's grab a parking stripe down here. And again, we'll copy out the latitude. Come back to TBC. Jump back to Google Earth. Grab our Longitude. And there you can see point two is down here. So now I'm, I'm done creating points. I can close that. I can close my properties here of this. It's a big, big window there. Um, I'm going to jump back to Google Earth. I want to cancel this so it gets away. Takes away the push pin. And basically what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to do a, a snip of this. So again, I'm just going to hit the Windows key. I'm going to type in SNIP. Open up the snip tool. I'm going to create a new. And I'm just going to drag, drag this. I'm just going to save it. I'm just going to save it to my desktop at the moment. That way it's easy, easy to find. I can close that. Then I can probably close Google Earth. Then all I'm going to do is drag over JPEG into TBC. And now I'm going to hit uh, close because now I want to geo-reference this. So I'm going to go to the Project Explorer, select my imported files, and right-click, geo-reference image. And we're going to select add. So we want to pick our pixel. So our pixel on our image is right about there. And our location, I'm just going to enter number one for our point one. 
and it brings up the coordinates. So I'm going to hit add. I'm going to go pick that parking stripe. It's just close. It doesn't. It's not rocket science. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, it be pretty loose. It's just for a reference. Um, my location. I'm using point number two. So I can hit compute and close. Now you can see my point number two and my point number one. Now I no longer need those, so I can just delete those. The image is placed where I want it. So now what I want to do is get this thing as far to the edge as possible because when we take a snapshot, it's going to take everything inside of this working area. And if you don't like that grid, we can shut that, we can toggle the grid line off at the bottom. So again, under the CAD tab, we're going to go to Capture. And what we're going to do, we're going to send this out to Let's put it on our desktop again for now. Folder, I'm just going to call it uh, Cap Demo. It's a folder. We're going to call this the same name. We're going to hit Save as a JPEG. Now you're, you're hit here with low resolution, very high resolution, intermediate. Uh, your low resolutions, that's going to be your TSC3s. Um, there's not a lot of RAM in those, so anything higher, you're either going to lock it up or it's just not going to work. So you, that's where you'd select the low resolution 72 uh, DPI. Since technically I'm on my computer, we're going to use a very high resolution of 300 DPI. Um, so here we're going to just hit apply. So you can see there it's, it's 9 meg, it's created. And if we close this, and if we minimize, now if I go back to my demo, my folder here, you see it gave us a KML file for Google Earth, the JPEG, but then the world uh, location for it. So what we want to do is take these two, the top two, the world file and the JPEG, and copy those to your data collector. Um, since I'm running an emulator, Mine goes into Trimble Access, the data folder, projects. Um, I'm just going to paste it right there for now. Back my way out of this. Now I'll ex oops. I'll execute <clears throat> Trimble Access 2019. Use my project folder, create a new new job. Change my zone to west. And then if we hit the little map layer icon here, you only see the JPEG show up, which is fine. Put a check mark next to it and hit accept. And there you can see it brought it in. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> this little green plus sign here, you can tell that that's the location of my GPS unit right now. So now I can go out there. I could collect topo and know exactly where I've been and where I need to go. So if you have any 
any questions, feel free to reach out to me.